Transfigured on the Mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. This morning, my brothers and sisters, the Lord gives us a very important message. He tells us exactly what heaven is going to look like. And there are many of these parables, and it gives us wonderful insight on how the Lord is going to judge us. And in this particular parable, the Lord compares heaven to a king who had many servants who owed him some money. Talents, we say, but it's not talents like we think in English. Left eye, and it was money. And so there was this one servant who owed him so much money that he would never have been able to pay him back. He would have died in prison before he earned enough money to pay this debt back. And he simply asked the master, just give me a little bit of time. Now, he must have known he would never have been able to pay that back, and the king knew he would never be able to pay that back. But because he asked him, the king said, I'll tell you what, I'll eliminate all the debt. I'm going to forgive everything that you owe me just because you asked. And then immediately this same wicked servant went and found somebody who owed him a little something, just a little small debt, one or two months' salary, we'll say. And he threw him into jail until he could collect his debt. We know the rest of the story. But the last verse, my brothers and sisters, is what we must genuinely reflect on in our part, in our hearts. Our Lord says, So my heavenly Father also will do to each of you if from his heart he does not forgive his brother his trespasses. When I hear confessions, my brothers and sisters, over and over again, I hear people who find it difficult to forgive others because we feel the pain of sin. If someone has done something to us or said something to us, we feel the pain. Esto no más atopono. And so we find it difficult to forgive. And I keep coming to this verse in my head that until we are able to forgive others, even the smallest thing they might do to us or say to us, then the Lord will not forgive us, either the greatest or the smallest. And I believe very strongly it's because of the words we hear and pray in the 50th Psalm. In the 50th Psalm we say, against you only have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight. If my brothers and sisters, our sin is only against God, if we were to ask ourselves, and you don't have to raise your hand now, please, don't raise your hand. If you were to ask yourself, the sin that I committed, is it against the other person or is it against God? Who really have I sinned against? We would all know that our sin is against God. If we hate somebody, 
The sin is against God because God says love them. And yet, when other people sin against us, we seem to forget that their sin is against God. All is here Martias and an opion ton theon. All sin is against God. And if God is willing to forgive us the great sins that we have committed, how can we hold anything against anybody else? Not only has God forgiven us, but in truth that sin is against God. Holding a grudge, having these vengeful thoughts about people, this is what the Lord is trying to get us to release, my brothers and sisters, when he says, forgive from your hearts. If in our hearts we look at other people and we get angry toward them or we resent them, I'm gonna... Uh, We've all been there. Sometimes I, I might suggest that sometimes we even pull into the church parking lot and we come into the church and we see somebody sitting over at the other side. Ah, uh, Yanni's here again. And in our hearts we have this anxiety and this anger. The reason God wants us to relieve this, my brothers and sisters, is because if we die with this anger in our hearts, we are going to carry that anger and that resentment through all eternity. And he doesn't want to see us suffer. The Lord does not want us to experience eternal torture in the way we look at other people. And so he gives us this warning. He makes it very clear. Learn to forgive in your hearts, and then we will experience heaven as that joy of being forgiven for all the things that we have done to God. Apotinka diamas. Prepinus natus sincorison. Etsi miazi i vasilia ton uranon. This is how heaven is going to look. Like it or not, that's what's coming. And so, my challenge, my brothers and sisters, this week is to start letting it go. Make a list if you have to. Make a list of people who have something that you are not able to let go. And then call them. Jorge, pa me café. Emeliso me. Let's go for coffee, let's talk. We are forever together, my brothers and sisters. If we are in communion with God, we are in communion with each other. And it's not worth holding on to these grudges and these angers week after week, year after year. Let's make this the week we let it go. And to forgive everything. And if we're having problems, but, but they, but let it go. 
It's not against us. It is against God. Let God forgive them. God will forgive them. And as it says here, just because we ask. Glory to God for all things. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.